Hi, my name is John, the owner of the Unique Component. Today I'm going to show you how we make our PRS core wooden switch tips. As you know, we offer these in a variety of woods to match your fretboards and other features on your guitar. This is one of our rosewood switch tip covers, which matches the fretboard of this guitar perfectly. We begin by fixturing a piece of exotic wood in a vise so that we can start working on the top of the switch tip. The first operation is facing and that actually ensures that the top of the wood is nice and level so that the top of the switch tip is nice and flat. After facing, we begin adaptive clearing. And what this really does is rough out the initial shape of the switch tip from the top by clearing as much wood as possible. This takes an incredibly long time, uh, about 12 minutes per switch tip, so from this point forward, you're going to see the video substantially speed up so that you could actually see the entire operation without having to sit there for an hour. As you can see, manufacturing the switch tips is a very time consuming process. There's a lot of steps that must be completed in order to actually make one of these and a lot of material that has to be removed. At this point, you begin to see the rough outline of a PRS switch tip emerging, but you can see all of these cusps, which further have to be processed in order to smoothen out and get it to the correct shape. At this point, we switch to a ball end mill and perform a parallel operation. What this does is trace the final shape of the switch tip from the top while removing all of the leftover material from the previous adaptive clearing operation. We perform two of these successively in opposite directions to remove all cusps that are left on the switch tip, ensuring that the final product is nice and smooth. Here you see the second parallel operation that will remove all remaining cusps. If you look at the front of the switch tip, which has those little ridges, they're now all being machined out so that the switch tip is nice and smooth. At this point, the machining of the top side is complete, and we have to remove the finished switch tip from the raw piece of wood. So we saw it off and then place it into a special 3D printed fixture so that we can machine the bottom side. The machining of the bottom starts off very similar to the top, where we begin by facing. This removes all of the excess material from sawing the switch tip off of the raw piece of exotic wood, as well as flattens the bottom so that we can continue working on it. You'll notice that our custom 3D printed fixture holds two switch tips at a time, allowing us to machine two switch tips at a time from the bottom. This increases our productivity and ensures high quality. It also allows us to pass on a lower cost to you as the consumer. On the left, you see an ebony switch tip being machined at the same time as a rosewood on the right. At this point, we switch back to the ball end mill so that we can perform parallel operation on the bottom of the switch tip. This is what gives it that nice rounded shape at the bottom, just like the OEM ones. We perform two parallel passes just like before to remove all the cusps and ensure that the bottom of the switch tip is just as smooth as the top. At this point, the switch tip is ready for drilling and pocketing. This is the final operation that's needed on the bottom of the switch tip because it makes the hole that allows it to fit over the switch blade on your PRS. We're going to speed this one up quite a bit because this operation takes a long time. It's a very small drill mill end mill 
and if we go too fast, it'll actually break off inside of the switch tip. So this is a very time-consuming operation, and it's one of the last steps that we have to take to ensure quality of our PRS switch tips. At this point, the machining of the switch tips is complete. They just need to be removed from the fixture, cleaned up, sanded, and oiled so that they're ready to go out the door. Manufacturing and preparing these switch tips takes almost an hour from the very beginning to the very end of the process. They're very labor intensive, but boy are they gorgeous when they're done. You can order these now in a wide variety of woods. Check our description below for a link to our Reverb site.